Christian McCaffrey, Panthers running back who returned to the lineup seven weeks after suffering a high ankle sprain against the Buccaneers in week two. He'll be on PFTPM tomorrow. He is day-to-day -day for the Carolina Panthers, according to head coach Matt Rule. There was a report earlier today that McCaffrey may miss some time with a shoulder injury. And, Shereen, here's what was going on yesterday as I was in the extended NBC viewing room, the distant NBC viewing room with the the connection that allows me to hear everything that guys like Chris Sims uh, may be saying. Chris noticed the play when McCaffrey got injured on a hit near the sideline, and then I started watching Christian McCaffrey carefully, and you could tell he had discomfort, that he was messing with his shoulder pads and moving his, his arm around. And after the game, there wasn't much information, and I went through some of the usual channels to try to get some info, and I kept getting zero. And it was one of those circumstances where it's not just the usual situation where they were ignoring me. They were deliberately being quiet about it. So something's going on with that shoulder. McCaffrey is going to want to keep playing after missing so much time due to the ankle. The question is, is it a pain situation? Is he at risk of further injury? What's really going on there? But day-to-day, -to, -day, to me, implies they're going to let this guy play if he really wants to. Could he miss time? It just all depends on whether and to what extent it hampers his ability to play at the highest possible level. But it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Yeah, Mike, I think you texted about the same time I texted, and we were noticing the same thing with his shoulder. It was very obvious that, that he was in a great deal of pain and went out of the game, and he tried to come back for one, or he did come back for one play, but he immediately went out of the game, and you could just really tell that it was bothering him. So... Probably, hopefully, is just going to be a pain tolerance thing where he can play with it, not in danger of making it any worse. i tell you what, though, Mike. I watched that whole game. I had that game, and he just makes such a huge difference for that offense. There are very few backs in the NFL that you say they make a difference. And normally, you, I'm along with MDS that you can throw any back in there and your team's going to be okay. But there are a handful of special backs, you know, the Derrick Henrys and – the Dalvin Cooks, the way he's playing, and Christian McCaffrey is one of those guys, and he just makes such a huge difference, especially in the red zone. When you look at what they did in the red zone, they were four for four on touchdowns yesterday. They're eight for nine on the season when they have Christian McCaffrey, and they're 10 for 21 in scoring touchdowns in the red zone when they don't have him. He's just a huge part of that offense, and they really need him out there if he can play, and you know he's going to want to play if he can, but you also think about his future and you don't want it to do anything that would that would need surgery or further uh, injure it. So you want to make sure he's okay. But if it's just a pain tolerance thing, I guarantee he's going to be out there. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And look, it's one thing for us to say pain tolerance. Anytime a coach says it, I think you're maybe putting your guy out there a little bit because then it's on him if he doesn't play. Hopefully words like that won't be used. Hopefully we're just characterizing what the situation is. And McCaffrey, if it is pain tolerance, I guarantee you he will play because he got the big contract, as did other running backs. The other running backs are earning their contracts. He probably hasn't felt like he's earned his yet, and that is going to drive him to do whatever he has to do to play. I'm surprised they were able to keep him out of the lineup for seven weeks with the ankle injury, I don't think he's going to want to stand down, especially as he feels the opportunities for the Panthers to be relevant and competitive this year slipping away. They're now three and six. You don't have many more losses you can take at this stage of the season and still be alive for a wild card in a very competitive conference where right now the Rams hanging on to the seventh spot at five and three. So the Panthers need him, and they need to start winning. And one of the teams they will be facing next, the team they will be facing next, we'll talk about them in a minute, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.